deriving velocity and position from real accelerometer data. The previous video, B3355, is similar except it's based on simulated acceleration. This is real accelerometer data. Integrated wants to get velocity. A DC component in the acceleration causes the undesirable ramp. Another integration calculates the position. A linear least squares fit to the calculated position results in a new position that is not much better. Interesting that two derivatives return velocity and acceleration from both position calculations. Subtract out the ramp from velocity and position calculations. This, this is the same real accelerometer data. There's integrated once to get velocity. There's the estimated velocity ramp and velocity with ramp removed. Another integration calculates the position. There's the estimated position ramp and position with the ramp removed, although that's not very good. If a cubic fit is removed from the velocity and a linear fit is removed from the position, the final results are not too bad. There's the acceleration and the corrected velocity and the corrected position. The LabVIEW program is similar to the one in video B3355, except that an Excel file contains the accelerometer data. A QNET mechatronic sensor trainer was used to generate the accelerometer signal. A piezoelectric sensor is there. The resonant frequency nearly 58 hertz.